Alright. Beep, 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 beep! Beep, Alright. It is like it. Okay, everybody. How many of you were told that coming out here isn't worth it and you can't make change? Yeah. And how many of you actually think that? I mean, that's good. No one. The truth is, nothing I say here will make the way anybody, will change the way people think. However, as humans, we have the, we have the power to control our ability to treat other humans with compassion, consideration, kindness, and respect. And how are we going to do that when our figurehead is trying to break that from the America we know and we've been trying to improve? His motto, make America great again. But throughout history, the struggle for equality and equity of American citizens has gone on. Equality is a staircase that we began walking up 150 years ago. Step one, in 1865 with the abolition of slavery in the 13th Amendment. Step two, women's voting rights in the 19th Amendment. And many more steps such as bridging the wage gap and marriage equality. I woke up on Wednesday, not from a racist bashing in my door or a white supremacist telling me what to do, but with the fear that that might happen. It's crazy to think that we've been working towards equality and equity, but it feels like now we have to protect it. Most of us couldn't vote in this election, but we can still make positive change. Our country will be betrayed by a racist, sexist, homophobic, privileged white, white, white man for the next four years. And as the next generation, we need to set a standard. Am I not? <laughs> Am I, oh, it's much louder now. Oh, do I need to start over now? Okay. Our country is being betrayed by a racist, sexist, homophobic, privileged white man. And as the next generation, it is our duty to set a standard that no matter who you are, you need to expect more from this country.